Okay, this is my third attempt at making this video because none of the programs I used so far have been working. This one seems to work. Okay. I don't know how informative this is because I feel like I'm just repeating myself. Anyway, so I'm going to put Fog of War on a map. So what we do is first we need a map. I showed you how to make a map already, so I'm not going to go over that again. And besides, I already recorded that in my first video, which disappeared into the ether because those programs suck. So anyway, so here we have a default map. What we want to do is go to Map, Edit Map, and for an overworld map, grass is fine, but if you're underground, you want to make it black. You could either just pick black here, or go to Texture, and add black. Next you want to name it, so you actually know what it is. Let's go with Orc Stronghold, because that's the name of the map I stole. There. Now you want to make sure it's snapping to the grid just fine. So what I like to do is go to Map. Oh, sorry. View. Show grid. Now the grid is also black, which is a problem. So we go to Map. Adjust grid. And go to Color over here. And make it something else. I like teal. Then we want to go ahead and put down our map on the grid. So you go to the Interactions Tool button, which is your first one. Make sure it's clicked. And then make sure you actually own background. Then go ahead and grab your map, drag it over, and there it is. And it's not quite sold to the grid, so just kind of put it about where you want it. Right click, snap to grid. Now this one already had pre-made. If it's not pre-made like this, what you have to do is take the blueprint, get yourself some dungeon tiles. I pretty much made all of mine myself, which was time consuming. And you have to just plop them down one by one. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Snap to grid. And do that for everything. Whether you have the patience for that is up to you. This one was conveniently in the map without any sort of markings showing where the monsters were. So I just copied and pasted it and there it is. Now, once you have your map on here, you gotta set the fog of war. This is the time consuming process. So it's not the fog of war tools what you think. This just shows you what's hidden and what's not. What you need to do is block vision which is this next one. You go to the last button here and go to Draw Polyline. Click it, and left click starts the point, and right click is your intermediary points. So you can see the red line here, and you just go ahead and block all the balls. So otherwise the party will be looking out into the ether, which I don't think they can do at level one. I'm going to have to go through the book and double check. Now when you get to a point where you need to scroll, it's kind of a pain in the butt. You have to go to Interaction Tools, right click and hold, and drag your map around. And then, same old, same old, just, uh, keep going. Why not? We'll include this part I had. Perhaps it caved in. Oops. That's what I'm doing when you left-click. You can select a whole bunch of tokens, which doesn't actually work. Perhaps I'm doing it wrong. Can't stop doing that. Now 
Now it never hurts for your lines to overlap and as you can kind of see that's what I'm doing kind of overlapping lines just to make sure that I'm getting them properly. There we go. Now that should do it for the outline. After your outline is done, you want to add the fog of war to anything that would block their vision. And remember, you want to try and keep it to as few lines as possible to keep the memory from getting too high. Because here we go, the memory on this map is already like almost half. So what can't they see through? Well, doors. Here's a door. Inner doors to jail cells. We'll say they can't see through those. I don't know if you can actually see the bars around these cells and how weirdly shaped they are. No, I didn't make the map. They can't see this hidden room. Oops. I somehow botched it. I don't know what I did. My mouse must have messed up. I don't know. I'm going to leave this door open for just a second. And let's say this is a pillar. So instead of making, you know, any sort of diagonal polygon, it's actually more conservative just to use a circle. So you can either use a hollow circle or a full circle. It honestly doesn't matter. There we go. And it makes a little circle hex for us there. And let's say there's nothing in here that's going to block their vision. So once all of that is done, you got to test it to make sure there aren't any holes in it. Now here's what I do to test it. If you have an easy way to do it, that would be awesome, but this is the best way i found to do it. Go ahead and get yourself a token. You probably don't have the tiles that I do, so just go to default. And you'll have some tokens to choose from. Just plop a drag in here. Then you right click, you can do edit, set it as a PC, go to config. Give it vision, and for the purpose of the test, give it dark vision. It doesn't matter what it is, and it's a dragon, so it has dark vision anyway. And then hit OK. OK. Go to Map, Vision, and for anything underground, you set it as a night. And then go to Map, go to uh, Fog of War, turn it on. Screen to go start to let you know it's on. And as you can see, there's a white outline on the token that shows what it can see. And you want to make sure that there's no breaks. As you can see, no breaks. All done. So what happens if you do find a break? Not too difficult. So you can see here, there's the break here, where I left intentionally open for the door. So we'll just take a little pin here and add another blocking layer. There we go. And you can see that just the little map ate up a bunch of memory. But there you go, a finished map. Oh, no, it's not. I forgot about the final step. So when you're saving it, you can go ahead and save your campaign, which is your full 
document. That's fine. We'll save it as test map. Why not? But for me, if you're going to send them from my campaign, what you do is you go to map, export map. There we go. That way, when I open up my campaign, I didn't make any changes. There we go. Ah, here's the one from the first video that was a complete and utter fail. Map, delete. Yes, because that was terrible. So, once you export the map, I can go to map, import map. And there we go, it's added to my campaign. Oh, it looks like there were some breaks, because you can see where the darkness was revealed. The darkness is not supposed to be revealed. But oh well, there's, there's nothing over there. You don't have to go crazy. Now we'll just go ahead and delete the token here. And after you test the map, go to Fog of War. And hopefully you won't have this problem, but I had a problem where when you would go to hide an area, it would reveal it instead. Because by default, when you click, move, drag, it reveals. You have to hold shift, click, move, click again, <clears throat> and then it hides. As you can see, it worked perfectly there, but for me, it sometimes gives me issues. Now, when you're doing the Fog of War, let's say you make a mistake and you need to erase. So let's go ahead and zoom back in. Let's say you decide you don't want this to be a pillar, or you realize, oh, it's not a pillar, it's something else. What you do is you have to hold Shift, click, move, click again. And I'll go ahead and erase which I've had to do tons of times because sometimes I will forget that right-clicking makes an intermediary point and I'll have to completely delete and remake a line. It's annoying. But anyway, now we're done. So we can go ahead and save. And voila, finished map. For real this time.